I moved here in 1979. Really, there was no intention of having a recording studio. There were wild packs of dogs running around. It was taking your life in your hands. There was basically a void. There weren't that many recording studios that were affordable. Rocket. It was the beginning of what became hip hop. We had no idea it would be a big hit. They were just these crazy young people who wanted to make great music and great records. I worked with Sonic Youth, Swans, Fetus, the Dresden Dolls, Africa Bambata, Fab Five, Freddy's. This is the record that was recorded there. There's this whole feeling that you can kind of go there and experiment. You wanted to eat, sleep, and dream making of the record. One of the beautiful things about working in a kind of like imperfect environment like Martin's studio you get a lot of that character. They still got the same couch. Yeah. <laughs> it's a staple of a kind of New York culture of sound and chaos. Here is the pond. 